climate change is the existential crisis that we have to confront right now and that we can work together um, to have impact. Um, that's super valuable for my mental well-being um, to know that you know, the work I do has impact. Something that I do is I try and kind of keep, keep my eye on projects that come into the pipeline that are unique and interesting and provide some really, really cool opportunities for learning personally and things like that. So I found that my generation can really become frozen with inaction due to their ego anxiety. And what I found is it usually stems from the fact that they know that GHG emissions are mostly caused by a certain industry or certain corporations. Um, and they get this idea that individual contributions matter less. So I have like a different mindset and a different approach. I feel like the power of the masses matters. We just need one person to catalyze, catalyze that change. What I've started doing is just showing them what I do, as in like the products that I buy, the processes I follow, things that I do on a daily basis. And I show them the benefits of it and I show them the math and I show them the calculations of how I've done this. And then it kind of gives them the option to make those decisions. I, I have a lot of friends that are pretty environmentally um, savvy and they do their own little things. And I think just keeping that conversation going and learning from through their actions and what they're doing kind of helps me like look at things a little bit different. And I'm constantly learning new things about the products I use. And then, you know, if I don't like the, you know, not just coming in plastic bottles, but some of the ingredients that they use and how that can, you know, affect things around me and then making changes based on, you know, that knowledge. And I, I just think it's kind of a ever evolving thing and just to continue, um, you know, on your way and, and still having those conversations, I think can make a big impact. I have a like generational code switch. If I'm gonna have the same, you know, motive to get somebody to do something more green, if I'm talking to a group of, um, you know, older plumbers or something like that, that I pivot to more of a, would you like to be competitive? Would you like to be relevant? Would you like to be rich? These are things that I think, even if you don't care about sustainability, I think realizing that well, the buyer is us. The buyer isn't your obnoxious nephew who, who went on a trip to Costa Rica and came back, you know, really like crunchy and, you know, eco-friendly or whatever. We are, you know, according to the research from Green Builder, we're building the homes and the majority of us care about climate change. So if you want to be relevant, you need to sell to us now. If you're not selling to your, your other friends, just as a generational statement, you're selling to millennials and we care about that. So if you're not doing something that pushes the industry in that direction, you are just less relevant. And I think that that's, it's kind of cool, cool to see. One of the inspiring things for me is that we have the technology to do it, at least with you know, my kind of small lens on the industry, but we have the heat pumps, we have the things that will make us more efficient. And even at the grid level, the solar PV is so much more, ex is so much less expensive than it used to be that you almost have to pay a premium to continue with coal or something like that if you're gonna build a new power plant. I think that that's helpful on that outside of what I do day to day that inspires me on a bigger level is like the fossil fuel industry is gonna have to work so much harder to keep relevancy because the renewables are just better. They're not just this like weak, you know, pinwheel spinning that can't, you know, power a light bulb anymore. Like you could do it with this technology and it makes a lot more you know, return on investment sense for people. And kind of like the code switch thing I said before, I think that that's what some of the politicians would say. Do I want to like risk my career to push through this coal power plant for more money or just kind of cave to the, uh, the eco crowd as well as the people who just don't want to waste tax money. And that part, I think, is big picture helpful. Um, there's some research done around this that if you can get people to make small commitments, it will um, and dramatically increase the likelihood that they will make larger commitments in the future. So our goal was always, how do we get people to engage and engage in small but meaningful ways? And then how does that lead to larger change in the future? 
Um, and so that's where I, I go back and forth on this, you know, small personal action versus pushing for, you know, large government action to impact, you know, the large polluters. And it's like, well, we need both. Um, because if we can convince people that their small actions have meaning, um, then they're going to want to be engaged when it comes to big action and big action having even larger meaning. You know, it's how do we how do we help people do both? We as a, a country said we're going to the moon, and we did. Like confronting climate change is our next moon, but we've got to want it.